Here's the field now for the night's eighth race. This evening's eighth, the Invitational Pace, racing one mile, a purse of $10,000. The one is Ben Good Table. Held by Norris Creek Farms of Freeport, Michigan, Larry Stallbaum Trains and Drives. Number two, Light Source, sold by Wico Investments and Tony Clyer of Kentucky. Wilson Witten Trains, Jeff Fout Driving. Three is Deadlock, sold by Patty and Wayne Fry of Chillicothe. Jim Arlich Jr. Trains, Don Irvine Jr. Up. The four, Who's Your Whiz? Over the White Creek Stable of Boynton Beach, Florida, Ron Potter training for Dave Miller. Five, come on, Puff Guy, owned by Saul North, the loss of Pomp in the Beach, Florida, John Christie trains with Eric Lentford. And the six, Keystone Reno, Robert Henry, the owner, Paul Johnson, the trainer, Darren Mauser, in the sulky. When play show perfected, trifecta wager. Thrice invitational pacers, lining up, moving in. The gate swings into the back stretch. There they go. And uh, they're off, and it's Hoosier Wes who fires quickly for the lead. Keystone Reno from the outside is second. Light source. Time of the gate came away third. And deadlock is away fourth. From off the rail five. Banquet table that leaves the uh, trailer. Come on, tough guy. Around the first turn, and they're slugging out three across here. Out of the inside, Light Source uses the inside post to his advantage and now takes command. Keystone Reno is left parked to the outside. The opening quarter, 26 and 3. As they come to the stretch, Light Source, the early pace setter here. Keystone Reno on the outside as they're pressuring and still looking to take that lead. At the rail on third, it's Hoosier Wiz. Inside and racing fourth is Deadlock. Then two lengths and five to Banquet Table of the Trailer. A patient sixth. Come on, tough guy. And now they're in straight alignment as Keystone Reno has made the front. Light Source let him go for cover, but now can't keep up. Half and 55 seconds flat. They swing to the back stretch, and it's Keystone Reno by two. Light Source is gapping by two on the inside. Then comes Hoosier Wiz, who's also gapping by two. And Deadlock is out and moving. He's now racing fourth. Out of the outside, come on, tough guy. Tags that cover fifth. Back sixth is Banquet Table as they fire down the back stretch. And Keystone Reno now being overtaken by Light Source, who's back in command, but is only up ahead. Three quarters, one, 23 and three. Around the final turn, out of the outside, it's Light Source. Out of the inside is Keystone Reno, and Deadlock comes into the picture now as they turn for home. Less than an eighth of a mile ago, and down the stretch they come, and Light Source has the lead, but Deadlock, a deadly threat here in the stretch, and he moves right to the front, and Deadlock wasting no time here, Irvine with Deadlock, come on, top guy, second, the battle is for show, 152 and three. Ladies and gentlemen, trackside is the official winner of tonight's eighth race, Invitational Pace, number three, Deadlock. Seven-year-old son of nine later from the Albatross Mare, Carol Hanover. Held by Patty and Wayne Fry of Chillicothe, the Jim Arles Jr., the trainer, Don Irvine Jr., is in the sulky. Fourth win of the season for the seven-year-old Deadlock, tonight's mile 152 and a three fifth. 3-5 Perfecta paying $28, even $28. The 3-5-2 Trifecta, $135.40. 135 40